Hello everyone and welcome to this course on Microsoft Azure Infrastructure and Deployment. So this is the course AZ100 and I will quickly talk about the examination and its syllabus and the content that you can refer to when preparing for this course. This exam is divided into several modules and in each of the modules you will talk either about your virtual network, your storage account or your resource manager or a virtual machine and under each of the modules you have several objectives. So in this course I have covered all the different objectives as possible. So most of the objectives are covered through the Azure portal and in some cases I have also covered through the PowerShell. For the exam, you need to be aware of the exam objectives and how to implement the objectives and you also need to be good at PowerShell. Which means to say that you need not memorize all the different PowerShell commands. The PowerShell commands will follow a particular syntax and if you are doing enough PowerShell commands then you will be able to understand the syntax and for any random question that may come across you can easily make up what command would be used for such a scenario. So aside all of that let me go to Google and search for the examination and show you the syllabus and you need to have that syllabus with you whenever you are preparing for the exam. So you need to refer to the syllabus, you need to work on that objective. You will of course uh, refer to the videos that we are giving you and on top of that I would encourage you to go through the objectives, perform them by yourself like creating a virtual machine, taking remote of that machine and be with me all the way and I assure you that it will be very easy for you to clear this examination. So just search for AZ100 and I will also search for 7533 because this examination is an offshoot of 7533. So if you go to the 7533 exam, you note that there is a red mark over this examination and it says that this exam has been divided into two different exams. One is the AZ100 and the other one is 101. So this course is entirely about AZ100 and there is one more course called AZ101 and this course AZ100 has been named Microsoft Azure Infrastructure and Deployment. 101 is talking more about integration scenarios like integrating your on-premises environment to Azure or migration scenarios and more about security. So if you go to this particular exam you have five different modules here so let me click show all and these are the main modules one is you talk about subscription and resources storage virtual machine and virtual network and identity so we are covering almost all of these objectives in the video tutorial and each objective has been created as a video in some cases to perform a particular objective you need to have some knowledge about the Azure services and for that as well we have created separate videos and placed them within the sub modules. So the way you would prepare for this examination is you would go through each of these objectives perform them yourself either through the Azure portal or through the Azure CLI or through PowerShell and you note the percentage here which indicates the amount of questions or amount of syllabus that's going to be covered within your exam. So you get to see storage as close to 25 percentage and so is the virtual machine and so is the virtual network and the first one has only 15 to 20 percentage. So if I go to the second exam and if you are watching this video then you need not worry about this exam because this will be the next exam and for this exam again you have four different modules and within these modules again they have several sub modules and uh, lots of different objectives. So 533 has been divided into 100 and 101. There is another exam called 102. So this exam 102 contains whatever the syllabus that has been contained within the 100 and the 101 but which is not contained within the 533 exam. So this exam 102 is meant to be taken as a transition exam. 
So this exam 102 is only for people who already have completed 7533. So if you have not completed 7533, then you need not take 102 exam at all. You only need to take 100 and 101 for the Azure Administrator Certification. So you can go to 100 and 101 and you can see that and you can compare that with uh, 533 as well and you will see that 102 only has those objectives that have not been covered in 533 but those are available in either of 100 and 101. So I look forward to meeting you in the next module and in the next module we will jump directly to the modules and we will look at the exam objectives.